Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are back in Spin Tires Mud Runner and I'm going to be showing you guys some brand new trailers that I actually just uh, downloaded and I want to show you guys using the Western Star truck that you guys have seen in some previous videos because I feel like it's the best uh, semi truck to use to show you guys these trailers. So we have a new log trailer, we have a kind of combination lumber and utility trailer, we also have a tent trailer which is basically like basically like a garage semi-trailer and i'll go ahead and spawn all these in for you guys like each one at a time um but we've got this one like i said it looks very it's, it's very similar to the standard uh garage trailer this one is this one is actually it's, it's it's interesting because these trailers are similar as far as like the way they look but they're actually really really long um the only one that looks the only one that looks pretty different is the lumber trailer and I'll go ahead and go through the rest of the list right here and show you guys like I'll demonstrate to you guys that we currently like all the other trailers that are available for this truck you guys have seen you guys have pretty much seen all the ones so these are the ones that are um, these are the ones that are new and I'm gonna go ahead and set off for the lumber area because I want to load this thing up and actually see how it looks once it's fully loaded down because this is a triple axle um, log trailer so it's gotta be at least fairly uh it's got to be at least fairly entertaining to drive so i'm gonna go ahead and throw the truck in high and let's see come on come on come on come on oh it's having some trouble you can tell it's like it's it's kind of struggling a little bit actually come on grab grip there you go come on hopefully we don't have any any more issues like that especially not while we're Oh, no. What the heck happened? Did we glitch or did we get stuck? No, we got stuck. Holy crap, that's not usual for this thing. It's a little bit weird, actually. Normally, I've, like, I've never had an issue with this truck getting stuck. Like, normally this thing is just a tank. It just goes through everything. It's weird. I oh my god. Okay. Yeah, don't don't ever let that happen again. It's weird. I feel like I'm whenever I drive like this truck in Mudrunner, I feel like I'm playing a combination of Spin Tires Mudrunner and American Truck, which is kind of weird. Like I don't think that that's like I don't think that would be like a standard crossover that you would think about, but I think it actually now that I think about it, can you imagine like Spin Tires physics in American truck when it comes to like ground deformation and stuff like that like that would be kind of weird but it would make for a very interesting game a very 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 interesting game she's rolling out now like damn absolutely moving out uh oh come on come on come on come on don't get bogged down luckily this automatic mode is somewhat intelligent so we don't have to like we don't have to concern ourselves with like like, for example, like, the truck just going all the way back to first and resetting completely. And then having to deal with, like, building speed back. Oh, my God. This is, this is bugging the crap out of me. I keep hitting things. I don't know why I keep hitting things. It's annoying. Properly, properly annoying. I'm going to go ahead and go out to the right side and then cut back to the left so we can drive directly just straight out of the fuel station and head up to pick up the lumber. But... Man, you know what? Like, I, I don't know why I've hit so many things already. It's not like me to do that. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's not going to make it. It, oh, it might. It barely has the turning radius for that, though. Like, barely. Barely, barely, barely. Alright. God, it really shows how long the, the actual trailer itself is. It's crazy long bump that up into high and see if it like see if that helps us pick up any speed but then again high is the equivalent of fourth and we were just sitting in fourth already anyway so i don't think it's going to be i don't think it's going to matter all that much and right here it's going to start shifting up to like fifth sixth seventh probably be an eighth in a second yep we're in eighth and the only thing is i don't know how long it's going to stay in eighth like on this map because i haven't really driven number one i haven't really driven this truck on this map at all yet and i certainly haven't driven it at all on this map with this trailer like this is my literally my very first time with any of the trailers in this pack. Like it's it's a pack that's available in the Steam Workshop, 
and I haven't used them at all. So this is like my 100% first impression of any kind of usage of these trailers like whatsoever. Like they're, they're, they're brand new to me, absolutely brand new to me. God, you gotta think though, like when I look at the size of that trailer, you gotta think the load of lumber you're gonna be picking up is huge. Like it's gotta be so massive that like, dude, we're gonna have to really pick and choose a route because that is gonna be an absolutely insanely big load of lumber. Come on, come on, come on, don't get stuck. What is low three the equivalent of? It's the equivalent of slow, apparently. I'm gonna see if I can keep it in high until it grabs grip. I mean, honestly, I, I, I really hope it grabs grip. Hope it grabs grip soon, because I want to like, I want to stop just spinning. Thankfully, the surface dries out a little bit here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sixth gear, hell yes. And since this surface is like, you know, pretty dry, well-packed surface. Oh, it went back down to third. Damn. I was going to say, I hope we can kind of keep it keep it up in the higher gears and keep the speed up. But that didn't really happen, or at least it doesn't look like it really happened much. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay in it. Oh, yeah, no big deal at all. Oh, I am slightly concerned about this mud section, though. This may be, this may be a little bit of a, uh, this may be a little bit of a, an iffy area for us. But we're gonna go ahead and go for it because I, eh, you know, it's like I don't know, I don't know. It, it may, we may be able to get through it no problem. Oh God. Yeah, it had to go back down all the way back down to first before it would get traction. That's how you know. That that's how you know it's 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 iffy when it when the truck has to go all the way back down to first just to move. Um, we're moving along okay in third, but we got into some pretty sticky mud, and it was like, nah, you you need first. It was like you. It was just like you need first gear. Trust me. Let's go. Come on. Let's speed this process up a little bit. Come on. Go ahead and release now, and then just winch the next treat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And release. Come on, let's stay, stay on target. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, I was worried we were beached for a second there. Oh, man, I was freaking out. I was like, we better not be beached here. And to hopefully prevent any issues, we're going to climb this hill and high. Oh, are you serious? Oh, that sucks. All right. Well, that's the advantage of four-wheel drive trucks. And unfortunately, this truck does not have that. Let's see if we can angle it. It worked a little bit. But it that, that but a little bit is about all it worked. <laughs> oh come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I will say that's a bit of an issue with this trailer. If if it can't like, if it can't flex far enough to get up basic hills, that's a bit of a flaw. If I if I do say so myself, I mean definitely, I would definitely call that a pretty glaring flaw. Actually, come on. See it bogged down again. It's it's definitely iffy when it comes to the hills. I, I I have to say, it's not the most hill friendly setup. Yeah, we should be all good to go now. Oh God! All right, let's yeah let's let's release that. Wow, it's still having issues. Like damn, I just want to see I just want to see what the load of lumber looks like when it's in the back of the truck. That's literally all I'm interested in. I just want to get over there. The rest of the trail shouldn't be too bad. Like, fingers crossed. I've only done this in, like, you know, lifted diesel trucks, and they had no problem here. But this one... This semi seems to be having its fair share of, like, uh... 
taking it, but put it this way, it's taking its fair share of beatings on this particular road. And I shouldn't really even call it a road, should I? Gonna try and go wide and then cut back to try to keep the traction, uh, try to keep the traction where it needs to be. This hill shouldn't be an issue. Should be able to climb, yes! Should be able to climb it, no problem. Alright, now it's time to load this thing up with lumber. And I'm not going to take it all the way back to the uh, objective because we would have to actually literally go all the way around the other uh, the other side of the map because um, this map basically they have a um, they have a uh, little checkpoint system not really checkpoint system but let's see all right yo that is um, probably about the most lumber you can put in any truck in in Mudrunner like that is. Uh, Woo, that is that is pretty ridiculous. That's actually insane. Like look at look at how how massive of a load of lumber that is. Like that I can't even you can't even like begin to think about how crazy that is. That's such a big load of lumber. It's 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 just insane. I wonder how this thing drives with that now. Still goes into high high gear just fine. Honestly, it may drive better with the weight. Like, I feel like it, it's driving better already with the weight. Wow, it's doing really well. This may be one, like, like this may legitimately be one of those trucks that just does better with the weight no matter what. But, like, my God, is that a hell of a rig or what? Look at that. Yeah, I definitely recommend downloading these trailers. I mean, they do have a little bit of a bug with uh with like they, they only flex up to a certain point and then after that point you're kind of you're kind of screwed and you can't go any further but other than that it's they yeah these are totally worth it for like the trailers that you get they're just insane so yeah i highly recommend checking it out but um if you guys enjoyed this mod spotlight don't forget to leave me a like tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next video talk to y'all later